install another system for him uh, if we had a convenient point on it. That might very well be a viable option here because the structure is too really good. We might be in a spot where we're not able to do that. There's no other viable structure nearby or we don't have another climbing line with us. Okay? So uh, in this case, we're going to do a pickoff rescue using the counterbalance technique. And so I'm going to, uh, also because I need to lift him up, uh, I need to create some sort of mechanical advantage to do that. Because I, I don't just want to dump him out in the crotch that could possibly hurt him some more. So I want to pick him up. So instead of setting up a mechanical advantage system, which maybe I don't have the equipment for, uh, I'm going to transfer him into my system and I'm going to lift him up using my own body weight. And as we said before, uh, Seth is, uh, I think, 250, about 180. So he outweighs me by 70 pounds, but I can overcome that. Uh, Unsung heroes of the world right there. <laughs> Unsung heroes of the world, trash men. That's right. You gotta love them. Um, so, dude. The, throughout the day we've been talking about friction and one thing that makes this rescue possible is my pulley saber at my anchor point or another low friction anchor point. If I just threw my, was in a hurry and just threw my rope over a natural crotch and tried to do this, I probably wouldn't be able to do it because I couldn't overcome that friction at the anchor point. So you'll see where, when we get there in a minute. So this is going to incorporate um, the add-in Prusik. I'm going to put in the multi-sling into my system and, well, you'll just see how it all comes together. So we assess the situation, okay Seth, I'm going to get you down, all that good stuff. And so I'm going to make it easy on myself and stand in a position where I can create some slack. So I'm going to put my lanyard on here, I'm going to stand around behind him. So this is nice and convenient. This is just a standard four foot long sling. I'll put that through one arm and it's a good thing he can help me here. And then I make a cross on his back and then around the other arm. So that's crossed in his back, that keeps him nice and comfortable when I pick him up. So I'm gonna leave that there. I could try to pull him up and connect him into the hitch climber or something, but that's a little too much work. And this is gonna take care of that for me. So now I just need to
send now, Duffy. Oh yeah. <laughs> As I was sending, my weight is on this side of the line, his weight is on that side. And notice how the chest harness picks him up into a nice, comfortable seated position. Wicked comfortable. Wicked comfortable. <laughs> Wicked comfortable. So now, my weight is not quite enough to lift him, so I just need to add in a little input of my own. Okay? Keep coming down. I'm keeping that prussic there in case we start to get going one way or the other. That prussic will stop us. So, lifting him up quite a bit. Okay. Once we get close and secured, I'm going to straddle him. No jokes. <laughs> That's the best way to control a casualty. Before I disconnect anything now, first of all, when I just stand on this hip, just come down, you guys can see if you can't quite see it as we're working. I'm going to descend on my hitch, but there's more than double my weight, so that hitch is going to work. So I need to add some friction. we come so you can see kind of what kind of the system here I'll get us a little closer to the ground before we actually touch down that's what's going on this prusik is not doing anything at this point so I can actually disconnect that but you can see how that got a little twisted around it's really important to watch what's what's going on with your ropes up there but basically we're just in a counterbalance position. I'm on this end of rope, he's on that end of the rope. But I was able to lift him up because I didn't have to overcome the friction at the top. 